Welcome everyone. Our today's topic is for finance professionals who are often asked to manage various assets and present their financial data in charts. Today we will learn to calculate depreciation, accumulated depreciation and net book value of various assets using two different depreciation methods. Straight line method and declining balance method and to calculate their impact on future profitability. Then we will display this information on a Power BI dashboard. So let's go on and start our today's project. A company has purchased three new assets and wants to know the impact of their depreciation on their future profits. The data required for this dashboard is given in an Excel file. One sheet contains the list of assets along with their cost salvage or scrap value, expected life and years, and proposed method of depreciation. In the other sheet, we have the detail of forecasted revenue, expenses, and profit, without the impact of depreciation. You are required to calculate depreciation, accumulated depreciation, and net book value, of each asset. And display the impact of depreciation on these financial figures, in Power BI Dashboard. We will start by adding another sheet where we will create a list of years for each asset as per their expected life. Computer has three years of life, vehicle has five, and machinery has seven. This table will help us calculate depreciation, accumulated depreciation, and net book value of each assets for every year of their life with ease. Let's load this data into our Power BI report using the Get Data button. Select all tables from the navigator window and press the Load button. Wait for the application to load all the tables and their respective fields. Once they are loaded, they will be available in the data pane from where you can use them in your visuals. Go to the model view. Both assets and forecast tables could be linked to the years table. However, we will go to the table view and create a new table from years table. Click on the new table button. And in the formula bar, enter depreciation equals years and press enter. This will create a duplicate table from years table. Now, go back to the model view and create a link between forecast and depreciation using the year field and between assets and depreciation using ID field. Now, go to the table view and select the depreciation table. Create a new column and using the related function, bring the cost column from assets table to depreciation table. Format the values using comma button. Then, using the same related function, bring the expected life column also, from assets table, to the depreciation table. Similarly, bring the salvage value column as well, from assets table, to this table. And format it using the comma button. Do the same to the method column, and bring it here as well. Now, calculate depreciation based on depreciation method defined in the method column. Using the if condition, determine if the method is straight line or not. If the method is straight line, calculate the depreciation using SLN function. By providing cost, salvage value, and life, from their respective fields. Since depreciation is same for every year in straight line method, period is not required in this function. Otherwise, use the DB function to calculate depreciation using diminishing balance method. This function also requires cost, salvage value, and life. But, since the depreciation is different for each period, the period is also required, which is the year field. Select the year field for the period parameter. After entering the formula, Press Enter to create the depreciation column and format the column using the comma button. 
Now, to the most tricky part of our project, let's calculate the accumulated depreciation. Use the calculate function, to sum the depreciation field, with multiple filters. The first filter will ensure that the sum of depreciation is calculated, where year is less than, or equal to the year in current row. The second filter will ensure that the sum of depreciation is calculated, where name of the asset, is same as the name of asset, in current row. Press the enter button, and format the column using comma button. We can confirm from the first three values, that the function is working. The total is accumulating over the period, from 500 to 1000, and from 1000 to 1500. This is the end of life, and remaining 500 is the salvage value of the asset. Now, calculating the net book value of the asset, at any given period is very easy. Just take the cost of asset, and deduct the accumulated depreciation from it. Now, format the column using the comma button. You are now done with the calculation, let's go to the report view, and create a dashboard. Add an appropriate title to your dashboard first. Now, add a table visual, to your report. And, add the year, revenue, expenses, and profit fields, from forecast table. And depreciation field, from depreciation table, to your table visual. Then, add a new measure, to calculate the difference of profit, and depreciation. This will be the final profit, after taking in account, the depreciation of assets, which is not included in the expenses. Add this field, to the column visual as well. Go to the table view, and format the columns in forecast table, using the comma button. Then go back to the report view, and adjust the table view accordingly. Add a pie chart to your dashboard. From depreciation table, add the asset field, to the legend area. And cost field, to the values area. Turn on the visual borders. Make a duplicate of this chart, and place it at the top right corner. Replace the cost field in values area, with the net book value field. Add a line and column chart, to your dashboard, and place it at the bottom left corner. Add the year field to the x-axis. The net book value field, to the column y-axis. And the accumulated depreciation field, to the line y-axis. Add a line chart, to your dashboard, and place it at the bottom right corner. Add the year field, to the x-axis, and the profit and final profit fields, to the y-axis. Our dashboard, is now complete. We can also change the entire depreciation method, to straight line, or diminishing balance, with one change. If we change the value of method column, to SL, the depreciation method of all assets, will change to straight line, which we can view in our dashboard also. Similarly, if we change it to DB, depreciation of all assets, will be calculated, using the diminishing balance method. This way, we can compare both methods, and their impact on profits. At any time, 
we can change the depreciation method to the original one, by remapping the column. This concludes our today's tutorial.